Hi everyone, Christian here from Kite Bird. Have you ever noticed that your kite isn't flying right? Does your kite have a tendency to turn left or turn right? Do you notice that your kite tends to backstall when you pull the bar in? If so, then you most likely have some line tuning issues. In this video, we will cover four different line tuning issues. We will learn how and why lines get detuned, what effects these issues can have on your kite's performance, and of course, we will learn how to fix those issues. By default, when you purchase a brand new bar, all your lines will have the same length. Over time, your line lengths will change, meaning that some lines will become shorter or longer than the others. What most kiters don't know is that lines can both shrink and stretch. Over the last 10 years working as a full-time instructor in Australia, I've noticed that all the school bars that we used ended up with some significant line shrinking problems, regardless of the brand. So claiming that lines are shrinking really goes against popular belief. So let me prove this to you. It's January 27th, 2019. We got this brand new Airush 2019 bar, and we're gonna monitor the changes in length of these lines over time. Now, in our kite school, we use only two bars for roughly 20 kites, and we run lessons 67 days a week, six hours a day. So the bars that we use get a heavy amount of use in a very short period of time. So you're going to see some changes in the length of the lines in only a few weeks. So as you can see, all the lines are attached to a fixed point, and we also have the tape measure attached to it. You can see that the full length of the front lines is 2,308 centimeters. And if you grab the back line, you're going to see it's the same length. It's been six days we use this brand new bar and it's already showing signs that it needs tuning. The front lines are 23 meters and four centimeters, so 2,304 centimeters. And a couple of days ago, this was at four centimeters longer. Now let's check the back line. A few days ago, six days ago, the back lines, as you remember, measured 2,308 centimeter. And now, as you can see, we lost eight centimeter so the line back line has shrunk by a total of eight centimeters and let's compare the other back line exactly the same and we now measure the length of the back lines at 22 meters and 80 centimeters remember four weeks ago that same line measured 23 meters and eight centimeters which means the back line has shrunk by over 20 centimeters from here to here. This is how much length the back line has shrunk over the last four weeks. So there's absolutely no doubt that your lines are shrinking. We can see the other back line is also the same length. So the front lines measure 23 meters four weeks later. So the front lines have shrunk but only by eight centimeter. The front lines, they won't shrink as much because they're always under load. That's where all the power of your kite comes from. So now that we know that lines can shrink, the question is why? I've noticed that lines tend to shrink more in hot climates, such as here in Australia. It seems that the combination of heat, salt water and sand all contribute to line shrinking. We thought that by rinsing the bar in fresh water every day, that the lines would shrink less. In fact, when we compare two brand new bars, one that we rinsed daily in fresh water and the other one that we didn't, they both shrunk as much. This brings us to the first and most common issue to do with line tuning, which is backstalling. Backstalling will occur when your back lines become shorter than your front lines due to your back lines shrinking more than your front lines. The easiest way to find out if your kite is backstalling is to put your kite at 12 o'clock in moderate wind conditions, such as today between 15 and 20 knots, and to pull the bar all the way in with your trim strap set at full power. So your front lines are at their longest.
This means that you will have to keep your bar further away from you or use the trim strap as a temporary way to depower your kite and keep your bar closer to you. When your back lines are too short, this can cause you to have an overpowered stance and your bar will be too far away from you. In light wind, your kite will always backstall as soon as you pull the bar more than halfway in. A backstalling kite is always a problem regardless of the wind conditions. If your back lines are shrinking too much, this can cause a second issue with your line tuning, which is excessive tension in your safety line. Most modern bars have a single front line safety system with a safety line that passes through the bar and through the chicken loop. It's important to understand that below your front line split, there's a safety line bungee here. That bungee should not have any tension while your kite is flying. So all the load of your kite should be carried by your front line here. and not by your safety line below the split. So below the split, this bungee should always have a little bit of slack. The easiest way to find out if your safety line has too much tension is to see if your safety ring is hard pressed against your chicken loop while your kite is flying. As you can see here, there's way too much tension in the safety line. Here, my safety line bungee has a little bit of slack which is perfect. So if your safety line bungee has too much tension, this can cause one of your front lines to be shorter than the other, and your kite will turn in one direction. And in some cases, it can wear it out. And here we can see that the safety line has broken because it had too much tension. Another common line tuning issue is uneven back lines. This will cause your kite to steer on one side of the wind window. You can easily tell you have uneven back lines if you put your kite at 12 o'clock and you notice that your bar is not parallel to your kite. You can see that the bar is not level with the kite. So it's pretty obvious that the right line is shorter and the left line is longer. So this will cause the kite to always want to steer on the right side of the window. So the reason you end up with uneven back lines is that once your back lines have shrunk, they can be stretched very easily. So for example, if you're trying to relaunch your kite and you pull very hard on one of your back lines, you will probably end up stretching this line. Another line tuning issue is to have uneven front lines. This may cause your kite to steer on one side of the wind window or simply to fly or react very poorly. This problem is very hard to detect when you're flying the kite. And it's best to check it when your kite is not flying and your bar lines are attached to a fixed point. The reason one of your front lines may end up getting shorter or longer than the other is due to your safety system operating on a single front line. When you activate your quick release, you will put more stress on your safety line, and for this reason, your safety line may become shorter or longer than the other front line. So now we're ready to tune the lines. We're gonna simply find a big open area so that we have plenty of room to lay out the lines. We wanna be able to attach the lines to a fixed point. So lay down the line. Simply walk your lines to untwist them. So once your lines are untwisted, you're ready to attach them to your fixed point. I'll give you three different ways you can attach a line. We're first gonna use this kite bud line tuner, which is designed to simplify the task of connecting your lines to tune them. So all you need to do is simply attach the lines over here.
and then you pass this around a solid anchor point. So you can pull very hard against the anchor point. Another solution is to poke a big screwdriver through each line here. If your lines have openings, this is going to work great. So once your lines are all attached in this screwdriver, you simply plant it in the ground. It should be solid enough to put a decent amount of pressure on it. Another solution is to use your safety leash. You simply pass it around a fixed point and then you will use your clip here to attach each line. There you go. So again, make sure it's very solid. So we're going to learn to fix the most common problem, which is the back lines that are too short in comparison to the front lines. So with this bar, what we do is we pull the bar with the same amount of tension as we pull the chicken loop. So we put two fingers on the chicken loop, two fingers on the bar, and we can see that with the trim strap set at full power. So make sure your trim strap is set at full power so the front lines are at their longest, which is the default setting. You're gonna pull with two fingers on the chicken loop and two fingers on the bar. And we can see that the back lines are shorter by a staggering 20 centimeter here. So we know the back lines have shortened by 28 centimeters but the front lines have only shortened by 8 centimeter. So the result is that your difference in length is 20 centimeter, which is going to cause the kite to backstall a lot. Remember by default, your chicken loop would be touching the bar here, which indicates that your four lines are roughly the same length. And now we need to basically shorten the front lines or lengthen the back lines. The other problem with the back lines that are shortening too much is eventually your safety line will have too much tension. Remember that ideally your safety line would have a little bit of slack when your chicken loop is under load. So we know we need to lengthen the back lines or shorten the front lines by a total of 20 centimeters. So on this air rush bar we have an adjustment for the front lines, which is very simple. We just detach this lark's head and bring it to the second knot, which is going to shorten my front lines by roughly 10 centimeters. So let's look at the difference now. You can see that we gain about 10 centimeters or so, which is still not enough to fix the whole problem. So the next step is we're going to look at lengthening the back lines. So by shortening our front lines, you can see that by pulling the chicken loop, our safety line now has a little bit of slack, which is better than before. So on this air rush bar, we can pull out the back lines from the floater here. And you can see there's a few adjustments. So we can simply detach this lark's head and lengthen the back lines by only a few centimeters, maybe about five centimeters here. We simply move this lark's head to lengthen the back lines as much as we can. And then we pull the line back through. And we do the same thing on the other side. So now that we lengthen the back lines as much as we could and shorten the front lines as much as we could, we see the difference here. Still a little bit of oversheating. So we still need to fix about five to eight centimeters. So another way to gain a few more centimeters is to remove these figure eight knots on the back lines, which will add a bit of length. So once you loosen them up, simply remove the knot completely. So by removing the knots, you will add a bit of length. 
So we want to remove both these knots, which as you can see, helped us gain a few more centimeters on the back lines. And then we can reattach them. Same thing on the other side. Remove the knots and reattach. So let's see the difference now. And we can see that it's almost flush. Maybe there's one centimeter of oversheeting here, but that's minimal. So if you still have oversheeting problems after making all these adjustments, you can consider these two options. The first option is to stretch your back lines, which can help you gain a few centimeters at the most. Keep in mind that your lines will shrink again, so it's only a temporary adjustment. You just pull hard against the line. You do the same with the other back line. As you can see, we have a little bit less of an oversheating problem. So when you stretch your back lines, you need to wait a few minutes to check if they have shrunk again. So the second option is to add line extensions to the end of your back lines. Once you have found some extensions like this, you simply remove your back line connector here. And then we'll add this line extension So we just easily lengthen the back lines by about 10 centimeters. And you repeat the same process with the other back line. Now that we have two line extensions of the same length, we're gonna reattach them So let's go to the bar and see if that fixes our problem. So we put two fingers on a chicken loop, two fingers on the bar, and we can see that there's even tension in the front lines and the back lines. Now we don't have any more backstalling problems as the front lines are the same length as the back lines. So now let's look at how to fix uneven back lines. You grab both of your back lines from a fixed point of reference here and you bring them close together. Here you can see that the right back line is much shorter than the left back line. So we need to fix this problem either by lengthening the right line or shortening the left line to make them even again. If you only have a few centimeters of difference you can try to stress the shorter line. So we know we need to lengthen this back line, which is too short. So we simply pull the line out of the floater here, and we're gonna change this knot to make this line longer. So now that we made this back line longer, we can see if that fixed the problem. We're gonna grab these two back lines at the same point and pull them, and you can see that both back lines now have the same length, which is perfect. Another solution to fix uneven back lines is to add only one line extension to the line that you need to get longer. So now that we have one back line longer, that should make it even with the other line. So the last problem we need to fix is uneven front lines. So to check your front line length, you simply grab your front lines just below the split. So when you pull very hard on both lines, you can see one has tension and the other one is more slack. So what we need to do is we need to shorten this line to make it even with this one. So what we can simply do in this case is do a new figure eight knot. So by creating a new knot, 
we can even out both front lines. So now you can see they have the same tension. So if that is not an option on your bar, you can always add a line extension to the line that needs to be lengthened on the other end of your bar. So in this case, we need this line to be longer. So I simply added a line extension. That way my front lines can be even back at the bar. Okay, so a good way to make a final check of your lines is simply to pull the bar with your line attached to the fixed point. So you can see that when I pull the bar, all my lines come in tension at the same time. So this bar is perfectly tuned now. So it's a good idea to check your line lengths every 20 sessions or so. If your lines have any knots in them, it's very important that you remove those knots to avoid weakening or breaking the lines. It's a good idea that you rinse your bar and lines in fresh water every day, especially if you kite in salt water environments. This will make your bar and lines last longer. If you ever notice your lines start spraying, it's a good idea to replace them. So when you replace your lines, make sure you replace them in pairs. If one of your front lines needs to be replaced, make sure you change both your front lines at the same time so they are the same length. And the same thing, if you want to replace your back lines because one of them is damaged, make sure you replace both back lines at the same time. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have any questions or comments, just ask them in the comments below.